Hello everyone. Today we will talk about third factor on which selective discharge of ion depends. That is the nature of electrode. So far we have studied that inert electrode are used as they do not interfere with electrolytic reaction. The active electrodes like copper, silver, nickel etc. if used take part in electrolytic reaction and the product will be different. So to explain this point I have taken example of electrolysis of aqueous copper sulphate. First condition using inert electrode like platinum and second case using active electrode that is copper. So let us start with first condition electrolysis of aqueous copper sulphate using inert electrode. So electrolyte is aqueous copper sulphate few drop of sulfuric acid is added what is the role of acid here it will stop hydrolysis of salt hence increase the conductivity of electrolyte. One thing more which acid should be used salt and acid should have same acid radical sulphate salt sulfuric acid is used clear. Then what ions are present in electrolyte dissociation of aqueous copper sulphate will produce which ion copper ion sulphate ion water will produce hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion. So which ions are present cation copper ion and hydrogen ion anion sulphate ion and hydroxyl ion. So now we will see reaction at cathode copper ion and hydrogen ion both will migrate towards cathode which one will get discharge copper ion why copper ion will discharge in preference to hydrogen as it is below hydrogen in the activity series ok. So copper ion will discharge to form neutral copper atom and will be deposited over cathode what will be the obse observation at cathode pink or reddish brown metal will be deposited pink also mentioned in question paper sometime. So just remember freshly deposited copper appears pink also ok. So pink or reddish brown both you should remember ok. Clear this one then anode which ion will migrate towards anode sulphate ion and hydroxyl ion both will migrate towards anode. Anode is made up of platinum inert. So here which one will get discharge hydroxyl ion will discharge in preference to sulphate why because hydroxyl is placed below sulphate clear this one. So the neutral hydroxyl radical are unstable they will unite to form water and oxygen. So what is the product at anode oxygen at cathode copper two products are clear then observation also one more in this electrolysis the blue color of electrolyte is due to presence of which ion copper ion. So blue color fades due to decrease in copper ion as they are only deposited over cathode. So try to remember these two observation also. Then we will discuss second condition electrolysis of aqueous copper sulphate using active anode that is copper ok. Reaction at cathode will remain same ok. At cathode reaction will be same here same electrolyte copper sulphate dissociation of copper sulphate aqueous copper sulphate copper ion sulphate ion hydrogen water will give hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion. At cathode same reaction copper ion and hydrogen ion both will migrate which one will get discharge copper ion will get discharge as it is placed below hydrogen in the electrochemical series ok. Now we will see reaction at anode at anode both sulphate ion and hydroxyl ions both will migrate towards anode but neither will discharge why because copper is an active electrode it has 
more tendency to lose electron as compared to sulfate or hydroxyl. So, it itself take part in the reaction and it ionizes to form copper ion. Okay, copper will lose two electron to form copper ion. So, this is very important point. If anode is made up of any active metal, okay, it itself will oxidize to give ions. Okay, here, so what is the product? Nil product. Because here anode will participate in reaction, it will lose electron to form ion. The blue color of electrolyte will remain same in this case. Why? Because for every copper ion discharge at the cathode, a copper ion is added to the solution by the anode. So, the total number of copper ion remain the same. It means concentration of copper ion will remain same in this case as copper ions are provided by anode. Okay, and this is very important factor also because on this factor only two application of electrolysis depends. Which two application? Electroplating and electro refining. Okay, here anode will be consumed, mass of anode will decrease as it ionizes to form ions. That's it.